So, you want to negotiate an Auckland short payoff. You want to perform a short sell for your client, and they have a first lien holder that is called Auckland. We like to refer to Auckland as the Al Qaeda of the finance world. And when you've dealt with them, you'll understand why. But you know, you can make things happen with them. You just have to understand there are a few ground rules when taking on this task. You want to make sure that the homeowner, number one, has not already had the foreclosure notice received. If so, you want to make sure you understand the state laws as it pertains to foreclosure so that you can feel comfortable that you have enough time to get it done. Why? Because Aquin will not, and let me repeat that, they will not postpone a sell date. So, you don't want to do all that work for three to four months and all of a sudden you've got a, uh, a foreclosure sale coming up in the next 30 days to 45 days because Aquin will just kill it. I don't even care if you have a cash deal. If you don't have approval, it's not going to happen. So pay attention to that. Next thing, you're going to find our seller concessions. Aquin has come out and basically said they no longer will accept seller concessions. There's ways to work it, but I'm just telling you, if you have a seller concession, you need to ensure that you do not have on line item 508 something that says seller concession with an amount. And we'll go into details on my next video as we talk about some of the seller concessions, some of these line items on the HUD-1, and what kind of a net Auckland wants, what kind of a percentage. So, two ground rules, guys. Remember this. Foreclosure notices, Auckland will not postpone a sell date. Seller concessions, no. Have a great one. Click on my links here. You've got to. If you want to find out more information, click on it. Let me help you. Dan Hopper with the Stop Foreclosure Institute of Westminster. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day.